Onto it, that's the, that's the part there that was on your tow bar. That's just an all round tow hitch, very strong and robust for off road conditions. Uh, that was an optional option from Conqueror, which I got. I've got the gas bottle storage. I put a solar panel on for just charging the batteries when not in use or whatever. Your nose cane. So there's uh, that's your water fill point for, for water for water tank under under storage water tank which is below the trailer. Important to keep the centre of gravity as low as possible. Battery box. There's a fuse uh, circuit breaker over there. I'll put on two two uh, sw lights, uh, two switches. One's for a LED light and the other's for a, a water pump which I. I haven't put in, I, I've had it ready to put in, I haven't got that far. So the, the cables there, that, that's the suction line for your water pump, they'll go into your tank and you can put a little pressure pump in there if you like and, and leave your hose storage in there. The other things that go in that, in the nose cone storage are your pegs, the peg straight from Conqueror for your awnings and tents, they'll go in there. We've got the Land power, uh, flight power, just plugs into the heavy duty connection. Plugs into here. And then from there you run it to your main power. That's if you've got lucky enough to have land based power, otherwise, you can run that into your generator charge your battery through that way. Uh, we, that's normally stored in uh, here as well. And we used to use a little generator. We, we kept the generator in there too, which is a good spot for it. I've also got put on a DC charge line with an Anderson plug. That's connects to your, your tow vehicle. When you're traveling along, charge your batteries up. That's your water tank, a gravity feed water tank. If you don't hook your pressure pump up. Moving down here, you've got jerry cans on the side, lockable, all the locks are key to life. Open some of the storage compartments up. This is this one for your power, this is storage for whatever you like. That's your regulator for the solar charger. Circuit breakers, I'll put that on. Well, actually, I've got Conquer to put that on aftermarket. Uh, these extra 12 volt sockets I put in because you can never have enough of them. That's the fridge slide which works on the other side, and I'll show you that in a minute. That's a brand new battery charging system. So, whether you when you're on at home and you want, you should keep this connected to site power all the time to keep your batteries in optimal condition. But also, when you're charging it through your generator or Site power it'll all run through there, just convert to 12 volts. From the other storage areas, we've got this one. This is just handy to get at whenever you're even on the side of the road without unpacking your whole camper to get at all your stuff. A handy bench. Uh, these are some LED lights we've got on here. All the seals and everything is in good condition. All the just attention to detail, all this sort of stuff protects all the chains and stuff, the seals from getting cracked and broken. The, come back, I'll turn the lights on actually. This is the power switch for your 12 volt lights. It's daylight here so it's hard to see but there's all LED lights inside here so if you're stopping at night time you can see what's actually in here and while you're camping. And the outside lights come on as well when you're camping. So this is 
spare wheel and mount it with a track. Real plate. This, this has never been used. This was an option of Concro, which I bought. Put that over your fire and cook on it. You can knock it to the spare wheel. That's the spare wheel there. It's never been taken off. That's, you can see that's never been used. No, there's no black marks on it, the fire or whatever. And it, it's, it's a handy spare wheel cover as well. So to open the back up, these are normally locked, just put a lock on here so it's secure. Make sure the lock's always on the, the underside, not the top side, because if you put the lock there, you'll open it up. So that's no good, you've got the lock there so you can't open it up. Unlock that, this just opens up. Drops helps it open up easily. Now I've put this bench in here. It's just a handy storage bench and for extra uh, luggage as well. It's removable, you can just leave it in there if you want, or you can throw it away if you don't want it. But I'm just going to leave it in there. Um, and then you've got access to your top row of luggage here. You've also got lighting under here, so you've got light right right above where you. If, if you're using this as a workbench or kitchen kitchen bench, whatever, just when you're camping, this is all accessible. To access your storage here, and this back end of the trailer is all accessible when you tent tent up as well, which is important because you can keep your stuff stored away and you don't have to continually pack and unpack. It's all readily available. Keep it all together. That all slides out. And you've got access to whatever you want to put in these boxes, these boxes come with it, they're removable, they're, they're plastic, they don't grow. And, uh, again, seals, all, all good condition. Put that up, these are spring-loaded catches, make sure they, they go back in. And the holes lock up, no, no, it's not going to come off. So when you're, when you're setting up as well, when you first get there, make sure it's easy. Uh, Supports. Take it under, under the foot. Under that. This is just supporting the, the, the camp doesn't make it stable. So depending on what terrain you're on, you can. There's a whole series of adjustments on here. You just pick one. And that, 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 that makes it very sturdy. I'll do the same to this side and I'll come back in a second and show you a bit more about the setup.